25 years old this Christmas and I've worked in the voluntary sector for 20 years um, as an, a manager of an advice centre uh, on a council estate in Oxford that covers quite a large area. When people come to, to the advice centre we never know what they're coming in for um, and the biggest problem we get now is debt, debt related problems. Debt has taken over the rest of our benefit work from pensioners down to teenagers. We're trying to be proactive, we're trying to go in, we, we've got some money off of Oxfam recently that we're going to go into youth clubs and schools and do preventive debt work with them. But people cannot afford their living anymore. I like my job, um, but I was looking forward to retiring uh, this year. Um, unfortunately, my husband died in March, and I suddenly found out what a difference that makes with only one income. When my husband died, my income was reduced dramatically. So unless I keep working, I, I just couldn't afford to do anything. Um, my gas and electric have, have quadrupled. I was paying uh, £17 a month on the electric. I'm now paying 44 My gas has gone from 27 to 65 a month. Water bills have gone up to 42 a month. My rent is 397 And then out of my wages, I'll have about £40 left. So I'm going to have to keep on working. My children are very good, and they make sure that, you know, that I'm with one of them at the weekend, so I get a Sunday lunch. <laughs> and I stock up on that for the rest of the week. I'm dreading the winter. I am absolutely dreading the winter with the fuel, bill, fuel, fuel bills. Um, and I know the government gives us the, the £200 at sort of Christmas time, but that won't pay a bill. That will only be a fraction of a bill. If, you know, if the, if the companies are charging me £66 a month at the moment, um, in sort of summertime, you know, what's it going to be in the winter? and now that they're talking about increasing it again, I think that we will have more and more people dying of, of, of not being able to heat their homes. It's, it's just, just horrible, really. I just wish a few more politicians would actually understand what, what all their decisions are doing to ordinary people. People that, that, you know, who, who are on benefits, you know, need the benefits because they've had some crisis in their life. Everybody has a crisis in their life at one point and, and nobody should be judged for taking something back. I think a lot of us put a lot more back into the country with our voluntary work, with our ordinary work. The majority of people that, that are on benefits need it because they've been some through sort of crisis, you know, divorce, death, sickness, whatever. I just don't think they realise that, that for us, it's, it's, for ordinary people, it's getting a crisis time and, you know, this is, this is how we're going to have to survive. And then relying on our children, which I don't want to do. My children should rely on me, I shouldn't rely on them.